Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Seymour Skinner. Not that one Crockett. Please rise. Today is Wednesday, February 21st. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention all first semester Wood Tech students, if you have not yet picked up your side table from the Wood Lab, please make arrangements to do so. Thank you. Today we are celebrating National FFA Week with Colors by Age. As your grades are separated by color, check out the jackets of fellow members and officers of the chapter. Hey Seth, you're wearing blue! Now our Ag Trivia of the Day. One acre of 43,560 square feet of soybeans can produce 82,368 crayons. Please join us tomorrow in wearing red, white, and blue. America! That's a lot of crayons. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville Dining Hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please print out the field trip permission packet from Schoology. Space is limited, so don't delay. Now over to Marius Miller with the news. President Donald Trump has called for a ban on bump stock devices, a common gun modification which allows a semi-automatic weapon to fire in an automatic fashion. One of these devices was used by the gunmen in Las Vegas, and the banning of bump stocks is commonly considered by gun control advocates to be the first step towards a safer gun policy. The president has also stated he would support legislation enforcing stricter background checks for purchasing weapons. Although the president had both made the protection of the Second Amendment a central point of his campaign platform and had received an extensive amount of campaign donations from the National Rifle Association, the outcry caused by the recent events in Florida and the overwhelming public support for the aforementioned policies has provided him with an easy way to score political points without losing too much support from other sides. In this day, in 1885, the Washington Monument was dedicated. The monument is 555 feet tall and was first proposed in 1783, but none, no plans were actually finalized until 1832. On July 4, 1848, the first cornerstone was laid, but construction slowed down during the 1850s due to political tensions, and during the Civil War, construction was ceased altogether. Then in 1876, encouraged by the centennial anniversary of the USA, construction resumed and the monument was completed about 10 years later. Now back to the main desk with lunch. Today for lunch we have the Mountaineer Popcorn Chicken Bowl with WG <coughs> Roll Margarine. Garden Burger slash Chi Sa Wug Roll. A uh, or Barbecue Chicken Patty with cheese on a whole grain roll. Turkey Boot on a flatbread. A uh, Taco Salad. Steamed Corn. Whipped Potatoes. I'm leaving. <laughs> Grape Tomato slash Dip and Mandarin Oranges. Fresh fruit or that slushy. <laughs> now over to uh, Anthony Gomez Garcia with the news. I did. <laughs> did you make sure you rotate this back to uh, the <laughs> fence head then? <laughs> oh, yeah. In Resortfest at the Portes, there will be girls across and toy parents' player meetings on Wednesday, February 28th, which is next week. Congrats to Jenna Razor for throwing an amazing shot put at 37 feet and 1 inch. She is now heading to the Penn State Championships in the, in the next incoming uh, indoor state championship meet. Jenna recently qualified by throwing a shot put of amazing 37 feet and 1 inch at a recent meet held at Lehigh Valley. Congrats, Jenna, and good luck. Today in sports, tune in to the Olympic Games to watch women's bobsled curling biathlon, which is truly a wild con concept if you've never seen it. I sure haven't. And speed skating. Now back to the main desk. 
Let's spread the love. Friends of Rachel's providing you the opportunity to write and send someone a special message. Stop in the media center any time today and help make someone's day. You can also just write an encouraging message to your general student population. And you'll take it from there. In return, you will receive something sweet. Sweet. Aloha, Mr. Martin here from the Mini Fun Club. I want to send a quick shout out to everyone and say thank you for supporting us throughout the year. Uh, we had a great Sadie's dance. But I want to remind everyone that we need to have our registrations for t-shirts by today. Probably by midnight because we're going to do the count tomorrow morning. So um, you can still register afterwards uh, to be able to come to the Minithon. It will be Saturday, March 3rd at Ephrata Middle School from 4 to 10. Come on out and support the kids and these guys. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, have a Mr. Martin day. Aloha. Charlie. <laughs> I have no Thanks, idea. Guys. <laughs> I have no idea what I was at Hamilton. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Doing this. And I was glad I was playing the app, but I just felt like this, and I just flooded at the camera. Thanks, guys. I got him. Grazie, grazie. I just didn't play the at the camera. I don't really know. In resort test, 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 test,